Okay, so now we're ready to make our weft yarns that are going to go back and forth between the warp yarns. So when I looked around my house, I found some old ribbon from gifts. Uh, I found a something that you could use to put around your neck. Um, shoelaces are great as well. On this one, the bottom one is a shoelace. Uh, but then I kind of ran out of things, so I looked at bags. And all I did is take some bags, cut the ends off them so that they were flat, and then just cut a strip about a centimeter all along the end. Okay, so if you've got different color bags, that's great. Okay, so you're just going to cut that to make a long strip. You can cut as many as you want of those. And that's going to become a wet yarn as well. So when we did this at school, we used straws and I punched a hole in the end and we put the yarn through that. I didn't have any straws at home. Um, and you can also use a needle, but a lot of this stuff is pretty thick. So what I did have is just a large safety pin. And that's what we're going to use to weave with. So you can just open your safety pin and if it's something like the bags you can just put it through the end and close it up. With some of the other things like the string like this or the ribbon you might want to just tie it on the end of the safety pin. Okay so then you're going to go down to one end and you're going to start by going under your warp yarn and then over the next one and you just keep doing that all the way across going over and under and then pull it through. When you pull it through, you need to leave a little tail hanging there about that long. And I found when I did this one with the grocery bags that if you push it all down, that works better. Okay, so you're gonna push it all down firmly. When you start on the next one, because you've gone under to end that, under that warp yarn, you have to make sure you start by going over. So then you're just going to go back the other way and then pull that one up. When you pull them up all along, make sure you don't pull too tight here. If you pull too tight, you're going to pull the warp yarns in and it's not going to be straight on the side. So when you get to that end, just make sure you leave it there. Okay, and then you're going to push all that down. So that's all you're going to do. You're going to keep going back and forth until you don't have very much left. And then you just leave that hanging out the side here as well. When you start with your next piece, it's important that you start on the same side. So if I ended off with this end hanging here and I got my next, uh, whatever I was going to use next, I would start on that same side, not over here, because when we finish, we're going to tie the ends together. So you have to have them side by side. So you're going to keep doing that using all the materials you have till you get to the very top. When you get to the very top, you're going to end it off, and I'm going to show you that in the final video.